My first guests, Vincent and Roxana Hewitt, recently appeared in Channel 4's Sex Box program. They are tantric love coaches and they're here to meet us today. Welcome. You look so beautiful. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Sit down. So, welcome to the Emmanuel Ray Show. Thank you. I'm Thank so you thrilled for having to us. have you both. Let me just cut straight to the chase. <laughs> what was it like having sex in a box in front of a live audience? Frightening. <laughs> <laughs> Frightening. A huge adventure. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Fun. Mm. And then, I mean, when you got the reaction and everything from the people, uh, what was it like? I think when we emerged, we'd made so much noise, <laughs> and most of it was laughter, yeah. that everyone's faces were really shocked, and they, they really wanted to know what had we done yeah, in the sex exactly. box. Yeah, exactly. Oh, right. That was cute. It was, it was a great episode, actually. Mm. Um, I have so many questions about Tantra, because you know I'm from Asia, and um, I'm Sri Lankan, and I've heard about Tantra, and uh, so many other things about mm. spiritual world, and I've never really got into it, never delved into it. Uh, but here in the Western world, it seems to be catching up so fast and everybody's talking about it. Everywhere I go, I meet people who are into spiritual healing, there's the people talking to spirits, there's Tantra, there's mm. tons and tons of stuff. Now, when it comes to Tantra, you know, um, I think there's a lot of misconception as well because uh, people think immediately sex. Mm. So tell us to start off for our viewers, I mean, mm. what is Tantra? Tantra is essentially about bringing meditation and awareness into every aspect of life. Mm -hmm. And of course, sex is an important aspect of life. So meditation and awareness in Tantra are also brought into sex. Right. So it's one facet of the whole picture of how to live more fully. Okay, mm -hmm. right. And all these workshops you're running uh, and um, retreats, and mm -hmm. I've read so much about it. I mean, tell me, I just ran through the whole website and tell me, what, how, does, how did this all come about first? How did you meet? Let's start mm -hmm. from there. <laughs> I have so many questions for you. <laughs> Well, we, we met speed dating. Ah, yeah. <laughs> where? Yeah, in London. Okay. Yeah, in Liverpool Street. And um, mm. basically, it was kind of, basic, there's a saying in Tantra, uh, turning poison into nectar. And we met in a very poison into nectar ah. way. So the tantric way is um, that you can take anything in human life and turn it into a spiritual path, right? Mm. When we met in speed dating, uh, the first thing we did was have an argument. <laughs> okay, right, yes. And she was, when you go speed dating, you have, uh, you have a sheet, yeah, you have the yeah. numbers, and you've got your number. And I, was, I think she was number six or something. I was like, no, <laughs> you crossed everything out. No way, forget about her. <laughs> and then, this is going to sound really strange, later on, or maybe not so strange, after a few drinks. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I want to hear the whole story. <laughs> we started talking, and... Uh, I used my charms and mm. no, but she seemed like a completely different person. And mm. I think that's, we're all a bit like that. We have many mm. sides, many mm. facets. Of course, yes. Oh, I have mm. several sides. <laughs> God forbid someone sees the other side. <laughs> but, uh, so um, ever since then, so you, you both found out, that you both realized that you both had this in common. Yeah, is it? Tantra? Yeah. Well, actually, we discovered it together. Oh, right. We'd right, been okay. dating a couple of months mm -hmm. and I had heard about it for many years but hadn't really taken any other steps to explore what it is. Mm -hmm. um, but I started to date Vincent. We're, we were in the first sort of throes of our romance and yes. really in love. And I said, why don't we try this? Oh, right, it right. was just a kind of like, let's go and have an adventure. It let's was the perfect, the thing. timing was perfect, wasn't mm, it? Yeah. Exactly. And the thing, key thing was that I knew it was about sexuality, but also it was about spirituality. Yes. And I'd never come across anything that mixed the two. Mm. And I thought, this I have to discover. Perhaps that's why it's becoming mm. so popular. Because yes. sex, mm. sex has been seen as a taboo thing, sex has been seen as a bad mm. thing, sex has mm. been seen as a, a sleazy, kind of kinky thing, all mm. that. You know, this is, I think this is the first time that it, it, this is really catching up. Seeing it's been seen as a very spiritual thing. Yeah. You know. It's been seen as a loving thing as well, but I think the spiritual thing coming into the equation is Absolutely. great. And okay, now I want to hear everything about the retreats. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you Everything. have to come on a retreat. Oh, I definitely will. <laughs> I heard that, uh, okay, I heard that there's some nudity that goes on as well. So I thought, okay, is it a bit like a naturist thing? But then when I heard about the Tantra, I said, oh, so is it like one massive orgy? No, that That's the key question we get asked. <laughs> yeah. Is it yeah, like one massive think, orgy? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, and I'm in really which case, sorry. I mean, that, that would be one of the main reasons why I would come. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> That's why I went. No, I, <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I started, 
I, th I was a bit scared because I thought it's going to be, it might be wild orgy people dancing around a fire, <laughs> right? <laughs> going crazy, Bacchanalian. no control. Yeah. Um, and uh, no, it's not exactly like that. <laughs> but, mm. but, but there is a, there's a, a, a beautiful poetic kind of sensuality mm. that uh, the exercises that we take people through it sort of allows that fragrance to come out. Mm -hmm. And um, they a lot of couples in, in particular discover sides and a kind of a love. They rediscover a love for each other. Mm -hmm. Some of the couples have been together for like 25 years. Wow. And mm -hmm. sometimes they're in trouble and they yeah, come to us. Yeah, the passion seems to go yeah. away and you know, all that stuff happens. Yeah. But, but it reignites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it reignites. That's a lovely thing. It's almost like you're doing God's work, to be honest. It's God's work. Yes. bringing happiness all over the world. We definitely, in any retreat, will have a range of people who've come because they're interested in yoga and meditation mm, yeah. and they want to further that into the realm of the body, emotions, sexuality. Then we'll have a portion of people who've come essentially to enhance their relationship. Mm -hmm. Whether their relationship is new and they want to explore something, mm -hmm. that's another dimension. Or whether they're struggling and they're on the verge of divorce. Oh so right. there's definitely that portion of people. Yeah, because you're actually, you're tantric love coaches, mm. aren't you? Mm. Absolutely. And I think sex is one of the part of the yes. things you do. I mean, I would love to come to one of these mm. retreats. When is, the, when is the next one? So the next ones will be in spring. Yeah, of course, yeah. spring would be a good time. Yeah. I don't think I can do it in Absolutely. winter. <laughs> yeah. Although, you know, it would be a good idea. You, do you ever have hmm? winter? We, we do. We winter, have, we, we do a Valentine's done. retreat. You yes. can come on that. Ah, yeah. there. We do things over the weekend. Countryside. Yeah. I think oh, it's best yeah. to get away from it. Yes, of course. Best to get away with a from the hustle and bustle. <laughs> Spas, yes. Love spas. And spas and I go way back. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Spas are the perfect environment for this sort of thing. And essentially on the retreats, the couples come, they learn all kinds of meditations. <laughs> Just laughed when he said, the couples come. No, no, no. no the, the couples come to... I like you. You think just like <laughs> yeah, me. Exactly. Okay. okay, so the couples on the retreats, they learn all kinds of meditations. Yes. And people ordinarily think of meditation as something is a solo activity that involves you being very still mm. and, and serious and serious right and actually we do meditations that are classical in that sense uh -huh. and also we do meditations that involve movement okay. that involve touch that involve working with a partner now this is a very interesting thing because i didn't know about mm. this bit about meditation mm. i've meditated in the past it hasn't really worked for me yeah. or maybe i just i just couldn't I'm one of those people who can't stop. I can't block out everything. I can't yeah. unwind. Yeah. You know, I'm always on the go. Yeah. And uh, the, my way of dealing with stress is by having a lot of sex. You know, and that's basically it. <laughs> and some Good exercises. stress, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. yeah, but um, I've always wanted to discover this bit, the spiritual world, mm. tantra, and everything. And I think uh, somehow our production team got in touch with you and everything. I think it all happens. I think everything happens mm. for a reason. Maybe you are the ones who are going to open the doors into the tantric mm. world for me, to. Just We'd love to. In. We'd love to. I'd be honoured. Yes. <laughs> it's a really special environment yeah. because, as you were saying, sexuality is sometimes seen as um, a taboo subject or it's connected with love or it's a private subject. And everyone learns about sexuality essentially indirectly through all the influences we have mm. from TV to movies to books to what we hear Porn. from our friends to yeah. pornography <laughs> these days. And it's very rare to have a conscious education around sexuality. Yes. And so what we're doing is really bringing a lot more awareness mm. into sexuality. And that actually opens it up into a really multifaceted dimension. And one thing that's really important about that is that it starts to allow the female experience of sexuality to really come forward. Mm -hmm. Because actually what's portrayed as sexuality in our society 90% plus is coming from a male perspective. It's the male eye perspective on what sex is. And so yes. with, with well, Tantra... Well, we do live in a very male-dominated uh, society. And I have a feeling that it will be like this for a very long time to come. Mm. It will. But <laughs> we're making changes. We're making waves. Yes, yes, it's changes. yes yeah. Yeah. And if you make waves in your sexuality, yeah. actually the transformation that happens there passes through the whole of your life. Yes, exactly. That's a good thing. I mm. mean, I, I'm just going to see how things turn out. Yeah. And um, it was lovely having you on the show. Thank I will you. see you in spring. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, retreat. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you. you very How much. about a flying kiss to our audience? Mm. <laughs>